Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about pasta alternatives. Pasta is not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes we just want to eat something a little bit healthier, so we do have options, okay? We have plenty of options to try if we want to mix it up a little bit, make something a little bit healthier. I have tried all of them except for one. So for the ones I have tried, I'm going to show you what they are. I'm going to talk about them really quickly. And this last one that I haven't tried, at the end, we're going to make the last one together and try it together. This last one, I've heard about it for a while. I just was way too afraid to try it because it just sounds gross i'm gonna be honest with you it sounds really gross but we're gonna try it anyway and i'll be the guinea pig so if it tastes disgusting i'll let you know and you won't ever have to eat it if you love pasta make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you love food fitness and lifestyle videos make sure to subscribe down below i put out a new video every monday so let's get right into this video we're gonna start off with the pastas that are more similar to your traditional pasta here's the first one veggie pasta. So basically what this is, is your traditional whole wheat pasta, and all they do is add veggies into it. So they dehydrate veggies, they blend them up, and then they add them to your pasta mix. So you have some added fiber and some added nutrients that come from veggies. So it's almost like you're getting your serving of veggies, but you don't taste it because you think you're eating pasta. <laughs> it tastes almost identical to actual pasta. You really can't taste the veggies. If you can see in this one, it's tri-colored. So this one has different veggies that create different colors into it. Or you can go for the veggie variety that just includes one veggie. So this one is, just kidding. This one includes kale, zucchini, parsley, broccoli, and spinach. There you go. You got a healthy pasta. So now that we've talked about number one, let's move on to number two. This is again another one that's closest to a traditional pasta. So these three are all pastas that are made from either beans or lentils. This one right here is made from black beans. It's basically just black beans. They mash it up, smush it out, and it makes pasta. And take a look. This one is a little bit more rubbery than pasta. It tastes a little bit different too. Um, I will say it tastes a little bit like beans, um, just a tiny bit. So if you're not into beans, maybe this isn't your choice either. But we have other things, we have other things too. You have a different kind of bean, a chickpea. I guess it's a pea or a bean, whatever. It's a, some sort of bean. Again, you can buy these in any sort of like bean or lentil. They literally have everything these days. And let me tell you, the chickpea one also has a little bit of a different taste than traditional pasta, but it's not like totally far off that you'd be like, this is disgusting. Especially if your sauce is good, you won't even be able to taste it. And then there's also the lentil variety. So there are different kinds of lentils. This one is a red lentil. So the pasta is red. It's super high in protein, much higher in protein than your traditional pasta for all these bean ones, really. Even the veggie ones have way more protein than your traditional one. So this is a cool way to incorporate uh, some beans and lentils into your diet without even noticing it. Now we're gonna get into the little bit more different thing. You gotta have an open mind about this, okay? <laughs> This is a spaghetti squash. At first I was like, all right, it's a squash. It's another dang squash. But when I found out that you can actually make spaghetti out of it, I was shocked. <laughs> when you open it up and cut it open, it looks like any regular like squash or pumpkin. But when you cook it, it literally shreds into spaghetti strings. I know, it's crazy. I, you know what? God thought about spaghetti before we even invented it. So like, we can't even take credit for it. Okay. <laughs> Basically what you do to cook it, it's super simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it down the middle, boom, slice it, you got a big knife for this. Slice it down the middle and then separate it. You're gonna remove the seeds and those inside slimies face down onto a baking dish. And then you're gonna put it right into your oven. I usually cook it at 425 for half an hour and that's usually enough. And then when that's done, you remove it out of the oven and then you can flake it away with a fork and you'll literally have your spaghetti strings. It's the coolest thing ever, look. Here is the finished product of the spaghetti squash. Definitely tastes more like a squash. What you have to do is really up your seasoning and your sauce game and you won't notice too much. You got another vegetable or two or three or four or five or a million that you can make into pasta too. What you're gonna need are two special tools. Ta-da! <laughs> so here's the thing. Take any sort of vegetable that you have that holds its shape. Um, the best ones I think to do this are zucchini, carrots, and sweet potato. You can literally do this just with a knife. All you do is like slice in and then slice down. But I feel like if you want to like really, really engage in the experience of pasta with veggies, <laughs> then you want to get one of these things. 
Um, this one was $20. I don't recommend this one so much because definitely annoying to have to like clean all the parts to it, you know what I mean? But it makes awesome noodles. So let me show you. I did this both with a zucchini and with a sweet potato. You can make noodles like this. And this is from the zucchini, the zucchini. Zucchini pasta is honestly one of the best. If you're gonna cook it, literally just saute it really quickly because it will get mushy and like limp down and it won't be good anymore. This is the blade that you change out and you can make your noodles thicker or thinner depending on your preference. What you do is you take the zucchini, you stick it on here and you push this here and then you're just gonna rotate it. And then same thing for the sweet potato. You literally just do the same thing. You can do it with carrots, sweet potatoes, squashes. I mean, anything you can think of really that will hold its shape and is long enough that you can fit it on this machine. And this one you can like bake or you can again saute really quickly. If you don't want to buy the $20 machine, which I don't really recommend because I don't think it's necessary, you can just buy this one. This little thing right here I think costs three to five dollars. You can't choose the different sizes of the pasta that you want, so it's just gonna give you the same spaghetti result every time, but I think it's worth it. If you're gonna cook it, this one will cook, since it's so much thinner, it'll cook a lot faster. So you really just wanna like cook it really fast. I don't know what this is, but just cook it like that. This final pasta alternative is the one that we are going to be making together. So this pasta is this. There are many different brands of this sort of pasta here, but basically what this is, is one of the low calorie options that you can have for pasta that really holds its shape, supposedly and it tastes like nothing, supposedly. I've seen different ones made with algae and seaweed, um, and this one I guess is konjac. So this pasta here says that it is gluten-free, sugar-free, fat-free, cholesterol-free, contains fiber, all natural, low-carb, grain-free, no soy, no dairy, no odor. Nothing in it, probably. The reason I'm so afraid is because if you look at it, it's wet and it's not refrigerated. Okay, let's open it together and discover what's inside. Look at this. You guys, the things I do, it smells like seaweed, straight up. After thoroughly rinsing this a million times because I was, you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, I'm looking at it, I'm smelling it, now I just touched it and I don't know. Oh my gosh, it literally feels like worms. Legit worms. Look, look at this. Look at that. Stir fry or heat in a pan for two to three minutes. I don't know what to add to it. I feel like, maybe since it says stir fry, should we make like soy sauce mixture with this? I mean, it looks pretty much like pasta, just a little bit more like clear, if that makes any sense. Here's the before and then here's the after. I guess you can add whatever you want. I just thought of like the quickest thing to do is <laughs> just to throw some teriyaki sauce on it and hope for the best. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry. Before I even tasted anything, I just bit into it and I just knew this was not for me. But I mean, you can try it. You can try it if you want. I could not get past the texture. Rubber band, but like the worst kind of rubber band you can imagine. Like as soon as you bite it, it like, it doesn't have like a ugh. I didn't love it, um, but you can definitely try it and you can add your own flavors to it. Let me know down below in the comments which one you're gonna try out. I really recommend the vegetable ones because they're super fun to make and they taste pretty great and they're super healthy for you. And also, if you just want something more similar to pasta that's just a little bit healthier, then go for the veggie one or for the lentil and bean pastas. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed all of these different pasta alternatives. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I put out a new video every Monday. I have some challenges on the way for you guys. I just wanna say, again, thank you for all the support that I got on the last video and for those who reached out. Thank you so much, you guys mean so much to me. And um, I hope to be able to continue doing the things that I love and um, sharing my passion with others too.
hopefully to inspire other people to have fun with food and fitness and all parts of life that involve our health. Thank you so much. Bye.